I used to want to save the world. This beautiful place. But the closer you get, the more you see the great darkness within. I learned this the hard way a long, long time ago. What is your mission? To stop the war. Women can be superheroes, and they can certainly kick butt. Wonder Woman is the first female-dominant superhero film in 12 years since Elektra, and it's absolutely fantastic. Before she was Wonder Woman, she was Diana, princess of the Amazons, raised on a sheltered island and trained to be an unstoppable warrior. But when a pilot crashes on their shores and tells of a raging war in the outside world, Diana leaves her home, convinced she can stop the threat. Through this fight, she discovers her full powers and her true destiny. The DC Extended Universe has been struggling for a while now with this past few films, but it pleases me to say that Wonder Woman is the best film of its franchise. There's a proper balance between the film's humor and serious tone. And a huge round of applause is in order for finally having a central focus that prevents the audience's heads from spinning in confusion halfway through the movie. It is our sacred duty to defend the world. And it's what I'm going to do. Diana! Wonder Woman is an engaging and exciting story about a selfless hero who genuinely cares about mankind. The slow motion fight scenes add a welcome dramatic effect to the beautifully shot sequences. The film is great as a whole, but it's the casting that makes this movie a knockout. Chris Pine charms as Steve Trevor and Gal Gadot was born to play Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is a thrilling and inspiring superhero movie that everyone should see. Now on to a new film franchise looking to compete with DC and Marvel. Universal Pictures has relaunched classic monster movie characters as part of the Dark Universe, beginning with The Mummy. Tom Cruise plays Nick Morton, a US soldier in Iraq who also in his free time steals priceless antiquities with his reluctant partner in crime, Chris Vale, played by Jake Johnson. During one of their hunts for gold, the two men and archaeologist Jenny Halsey, played by Annabelle Wallace, stumble upon the remains of Princess Aminat, who was entombed for eternity after a treacherous acts of evil 5,000 years ago. By uncovering her remains, they have also awakened her spirit, allowing Aminat to finally finish out her plan to rule the world. Okay, so the plot is pretty thin and hardly original. But the film does have its entertaining moments, thanks to Cruz and Johnson's comic relief and the constant action. The film also eases us into another Dark Universe character, Dr. Henry Jekyll, adequately played by Russell Crowe. Though his character was there to study Aminat and be another obstacle for Nick, somehow Dr. Jekyll felt forced in this story. However, I'm looking forward to seeing Crowe as the lead in a Jekyll and Hyde origin film. The Mummy brings nothing fresh beyond some jokes and cool CGI, but I can't help but see potential in what's to come. Once the franchise finds its footing and brings this world together in a more natural way, it could be something special. But in a summer filled with anticipated blockbusters, it's hard to say that The Mummy will rise above movies like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 or Wonder Woman. However, if you've already seen those two films and you're looking for a quick thrill to satisfy you in theaters till Spider-Man Homecoming comes out, then the mummy is worth a few bucks. For About Town, this is Susan Conno. I'm gonna figure this out. Don't leave me. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you.